is our automated watering system in action today. So each tray fills and drains itself. Sequentially, forgive the poor camera work, I'm new to this gimbal. So they go down the line. And the whole system is has fill and drain lines running from the tank As you can hear in here, uh, sorry, I think it's a focus on. There we go. The tank fills itself too as it's going. This current version has a secondary pump in it for um, pumping up into the main tank due to some stuff, but everything waters itself and clogging is not an issue. We use peat moss soil medium. Um, we haven't had any clogging issues. We haven't had any problems uh, whatsoever with this current system. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a, a little better view of our automated watering system. Um, the biggest cost is the trays and the valves. But I've got plans for it all. Uh, should be out soon. And um, the other thing we're doing that I don't see other people doing a lot of is the counter opposing fans. Uh, the counter opposing fans and the larger fans too. So everyone's using these little fans and they're all well and good. Um, I don't see a problem with them, but what we have found is that two larger counter-opposing fans running at lower speeds provides a really nice, even airflow. We've got all this turbulent airflow over the entire bed of greens, rather than just having this blast of air coming out of one fan down the middle and then dispersing out and barely getting over here and not getting on either side where it's not centered. So we've got two counter opposing fans. They're running at, what are they running at? They're running at, I don't know if you can see this, 30% power, which I think is 400 RPM, something like that. So they're running slower But they create this, like, there's just as much turbulent air here as there is here and here. I have the same amount of turbulent airflow. It's almost dead even. So the only things that we are still working on is getting our temperature to stay consistent down here because we're in a basement and we've got a... Uh, portable air conditioner and they are notoriously inaccurate and inefficient. This thing will cool really well some days, not cool really well some days. Um, so that's our struggle right now is just getting the temperature to stay consistent. So we've had um, some large variances in our yields because of the temperature, but we are moving into a new facility sometime 
soon, hopefully, where we can have actual uh, HVAC stuff. So that's it. That's a, a better view of our automated watering system. Like I said, plans um, are coming out soon, and I also will have those valves for sale uh, for cheaper than you can find them on Amazon and online for sure. And uh, yeah, that's all. Uh, thanks, guys. Bye.